In this last video, we're just going to fix some things. It's kind of awkward that the witch's new dragon just leaves without her when we press F. So to make the witch fly away on the dragon's back, we'll move her to the dragon, and then change her vehicle to the dragon. Click on the My First Method tab at the top of the code editor panel, and then click on your witch in the scene view so that we can see her methods in the methods panel. We're looking for one called Move To. It's in the second group under position, and we'll drag that below our loop in my first method. Select this stop baby dragon from the drop down so that we have the witch moves to the baby dragon. We'll have her say something as well, so find this dot witch say at the towards the top of her methods panel, drop that in there, and choose custom text string. For the heck of it, let's type in, let's go save the world. Sweet thing. Because as programmers, we can make anyone hear us, even gross witches. Now when you press run, the witch will do her thing as usual. And we're fast forwarding a bit. But after her flips, she will walk to the dragon and then talk. We want these two things to happen at the same time. So we're going to use a block called a do together. Close this window. You see that by default, Alice does things in order. This means that one line of code executes, then the next one executes, then the next one, and so on. To make two things happen at the same time, we'll drag a do together tile from the control tiles at the bottom. Drop it at the bottom of my first method, and then just drag move to and say into the do together block where it says drop statement here. Now when we press run and speed it up a bit, the witch will do her flips and then she will walk and talk at the same time. However, if we press F again, the dragon will still fly away without her. So what we've done isn't quite enough, but we'll fix it now. Close this window, and then look at the bottom of the witch's methods pane. If you scroll all the way down, you'll find a method called setVehicle. Drag that into the do together, and then choose this dot baby dragon. When you sit in a car, you move when the car moves. Similarly, now whenever the dragon moves, the witch will move with it, because the dragon is her vehicle. Before we test this, however, let's not forget to give our user some instructions. Select this dot baby dragon from the object drop down on the left, and then drag a think procedure below your do together. Select custom text string, and then type something like, okay, press F to make me fly. This is actually a very important line, because otherwise, if you were to show your program to your friends or family, they wouldn't know how to fly away. Now we can press run in the scene view to test our scene one last time, because we're done. Well, for now. You see, we've gone through a lot of material really fast, as seen by, loops, if statements, events. Now, college students that I hang out with spend weeks learning this stuff. You might have done it in as little as 30 minutes to an hour. So all I can tell you to do is practice. Make new worlds. Make Martians crash on Earth, a troll attack a castle, a coyote discover buried treasure, or a fat cat eat food. Make an explorer run into the abominable snowman in the Arctic. Keep making stories and keep showing them off. You can start by learning about the functions tab, or learning about object parts. For now, just close and hit file and save your world. I sincerely hope that you continue experimenting with Alice. Thanks for watching.